Hello and welcome to the 7 o'clock news from Bahrain International. I'm Shari Aqeel. His Majesty King Hamid bin Isa Al Khalifa received a phone call from the President of, the, of Russia, Vladimir Putin, where the two sides emphasized the deep-rooted friendly relations, hailing their development at all levels, particularly in the commercial and industrial fields, to achieve the common interests of both countries. During the phone call, the latest regional developments were reviewed, particularly severing diplomatic ties with Qatar. His Majesty stressed the need for Qatar to correct its policy to confirm its adherence to all previous commitments and meet the provided demands to maintain the region's security and stability for the benefit of all countries, including Qatar. His Majesty commended the constant coordination between Bahrain and Russia with concern to regional and international developments and the mutual keenness and understanding of the importance of combating terrorism and draining all its funding sources. His Royal Highness the Prime Minister Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa sent a cable of good wishes to Somali President Mohammed Abdullahi Mohammed Farmajo marking his country's National Day. His Royal Highness the Prime Minister extended congratulations to President Farmajo, wishing him abundant health and happiness. His Royal Highness sent a similar cable to the Somali Prime Minister Hassan Ali Khairi. Coast Guard patrols have foiled the trafficking of a large quantity of narcotic substances from Iran via the sea with an estimated worth of 284,000 Bahraini dinars. The Maritime Operations Center for the Coast Guard suspected a boat in an area north of Bahrain sailing despite the maritime ban. As patrols approached the boat, it attempted to escape towards shallow waters. However, patrols managed to surround it and stop it, where two Bahraini citizens aboard were arrested. Ahmed Riyad Ali Ahmed Al Ghazaz, 25 years old, with a criminal record for narcotics in which tools for narcotic use were confiscated from his car. Is Sayyid Hassan Abdullah Majid Ashur, 27 years old, the boat's owner. Investigation in the cooperation with the anti narcotics director revealed that the two arrestees are involved in a drug trafficking case in which the two dumped a large quantity of narcotics from Iran in the sea that was sent to the first arrestee from Iranian drug traffickers. After confirming information, collecting necessary evidence, and locating the drugs through the Coast Guard radar system, patrols managed to seize the narcotics, which were hidden in rubber tires in the seabed and tied with a rope. The seized narcotics are 33 kilograms of hashish and less than one kilogram of methamphetamine. All necessary legal action was taken and the case was referred to the public prosecution. In response to the directives of His Royal Highness the Crown Prince, Deputy Supreme Commander and First Deputy Prime Minister Prince Salman bin Hamid Al Khalifa to reduce traffic congestion across the kingdom, the Minister of Works, Municipality Affairs and Urban Planning, Aysam bin Abdullah Khalaf, has announced the opening of a new entrance to the Isa Town Educational District. The project comprises of a new two-way road that passes between the Sacred Heart School and Sheikh Abdullah School, connecting Sheikh Salman Road to Road 4109 within the Educational District. By distributing traffic evenly and reducing congestion onto the December 16th road, it is anticipated that the new entrance will increase capacity to 2,000 vehicles per hour. The project follows earlier works completed by the Ministry, which included the introduction of a new entrance lane to the Ministry of Education, additional service roads and a car park to serve the schools near December 16th Road, as well as the expansion of Road 41. Home to 10 schools, the University of Bahrain and Bahrain Polytechnic, the Ministry of Education, the Ministry of Information Affairs and a number of other entities, the educational district is one of Bahrain's most important areas and the Ministry of Works remains fully committed to improving access for road users. The new entrance to the Isa Town Educational District is the latest in a series of projects designed to reduce traffic congestion across the kingdom. These projects, which include new road facilities at the Al Jasra and Financial Harbour intersections, are part of a comprehensive network expansion plan worth 1.2 million dinars. The plan, which is funded by the GCC Development Program, is designed to accommodate increased urban expansion across the kingdom, significantly improving the local road network.